Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Kuznetsov, originally the name of the 5th Gear of class battle cruiser, is an aircraft carrier, or heavy aircraft cruiser in Russian classification, serving as the flagship of the Russian Navy. It was built by the Black Sea Shipyard, the sole manufacturer of Soviet aircraft carriers, in Nikolaev within the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. The initial name of the ship was Riga, it was launched as Leonid Brezhnev, embarked on sea trials as Tbilisi, and finally named after Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Nikolai Gerasimovich Kuznetsov. It was originally commissioned in the Soviet Navy, and was intended to be the lead ship of the two-ship Admiral Kuznetsov class. However, its sister ship Veriag was still incomplete when the Soviet Union disbanded in 1991. The second hull was eventually sold by Ukraine to China, completed in Dalian and commissioned as Liaoning. The design of Admiral Kuznetsov class implies a mission different from that of the United States Navy's carriers. The term used by her builders to describe the Russian ships is heavy aircraft carrying cruiser, intended to support and defend strategic missile carrying submarines, surface ships, and naval missile carrying aircraft of the Russian Navy. Admiral Kuznetsov's main fixed wing aircraft is the multi role Sukhoi Su 33. It can perform air superiority, fleet defense, and air support missions and can also be used for direct fire support of amphibious assault, reconnaissance and placement of naval mines. The carrier also carries the Kamov Ka-27 and Kamov Ka-27S helicopters for anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and small transport. For takeoff of fixed-wing aircraft, Admiral Kuznetsov uses a ski jump at the end of her bow. On takeoff aircraft accelerate toward and up the ski jump using their afterburners. This results in the aircraft leaving the deck at a higher angle and elevation than on an aircraft carrier with a flat deck and catapults. The ski jump takeoff is less demanding on the pilot, since the acceleration is lower, but results in a clearance speed of only 75 to 87 miles per hour requiring an aircraft design which will not stall at those speeds. The cruiser role is facilitated by Admiral Kuznetsov's complement of 12 long-range surface-to-surface anti-ship P-700 granite cruise missiles. As a result, this armament is the basis for the ship's Russian type designator of heavy aircraft carrying missile cruiser. Admiral Kuznetsov's designation as an aircraft carrying cruiser is very important under the Montreux Convention, as it allows the ship to transit the Turkish Straits. The convention prohibits countries from sending an aircraft carrier heavier than 15,000 tons through the straits. Since the ship was built in the Ukrainian SSR, Admiral Kuznetsov would have been stuck in the Black Sea if Turkey had refused permission to pass into the Mediterranean Sea. However, the convention does not limit the displacement of capital ships operated by Black Sea powers. Turkey has allowed Admiral Kuznetsov to transit the straits, and no signatory to the Montreux Convention has ever issued a formal protest of her classification as an aircraft carrying cruiser. Admiral Kuznetsov has mainly deployed to the Mediterranean Sea, making trips there in 1995, 2000, 2007, 2011, 2013, and 2016. After concluding the Syrian deployment on 11 January 2017, Admiral Kuznetsov was conducting live fire training exercises in the Mediterranean off the coast of Libya. The Russian Defense Ministry announced that on the 11th of January, Admiral Kuznetsov was visited by Libya's military leader Khalifa Haftar, who had a video conference with Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoig while on board. The carrier started an overhaul and modernization in the first quarter of 2017. This is expected to extend its service life by 25 years. Admiral Kuznetsov is expected to undergo modernization at the 35th ship repair plant in Murmansk between 2020 and 2021, upgrading the ship's power plant and electronics systems. On 30 October 2018, Admiral Kuznetsov was damaged when Russia's biggest floating dry dock, PD-50, 
sank and one of the dock's 70-ton cranes crashed onto the ship's flight deck leaving behind a 200-square-foot hole in the flight deck. One person was reported missing and four injured as the dry dock sank in Kola Bay. Admiral Kuznetsov was in the process of being removed from the dock when the incident happened, and was towed to a nearby yard after the incident. According to Alexei Rachmanov, the president of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, the cost for repairs of the damage was estimated to be about US 1 million and should not affect the timing of the currently underway overhaul and modernization of the ship. Although it is unclear how the overhaul and repair schedule would not be affected with the dry dock sunk. The fallen crane was removed within two to three months. In late May 2019, seven months later, information posted on Digital Forensic Research Lab's blog suggested that repair work of the aircraft carrier was underway. That same month it was also announced that two graving docks in Roslikovo, Murmansk Oblast would be merged and enlarged to accommodate Admiral Kuznetsov, with work taking one and a half years. In December 2019, a major fire broke out on board Admiral Kuznetsov as work continued on the ship's refit. Two people died and 14 suffered injuries from the fire and smoke inhalation. The fire damage on the Admiral Kuznetsov is estimated at 500 million rubles. The ship's remains in Maman's under repair today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check back for our next video.